Buying or selling real estate can be stressful. After all, it's not any old house we're talking about, it's your home. So when it's time to buy or sell, you want to make sure your search is in capable hands. That's why we turn to Angie Cole and the team at A. Cole Realty. You've seen Angie featured on HGTV's House Hunters. Realtor Magazine named her one of the top realtors in the country. And just ask us, the numbers back her up. So listen up as we cover all the ins and outs of buying and selling a home here in the Triangle. It's time for the Savvy Realtor with Angie Cole. It's time for another edition of the Savvy Realtor. Walter Storholt here alongside Angie Cole. She's the person that we turn to each and every week here on the program to guide us through the ins and outs when it comes to buying or selling a home throughout the Triangle. She's the owner and broker in charge of A. Cole Realty, and you can find more information about Angie online at acolerealty.com. Angie, thanks for being here this week. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Looking forward to our conversation. We've got lots to dive into today. We're going to talk about some of your great questions to answer. Really beautiful neighborhood to feature in the spotlight this week down in Holly Springs. But first... Time to celebrate. It's the A. Cole Realty Rundown. It's time to find out just what happened this past week with closings and transactions and how many homes were sold and bought uh, with A. Cole Realty over the past couple of days. Angie, I hear that the number is pretty big this week. Yeah, we had a lot of closings, most of those being buyers. So we had six buyers and one seller who closed in their home this week. So our team was fortunate enough to help seven different families close in a home. So first of all, we have Martin, who purchased a home in Raleigh. We have Kim, who purchased a home in Apex. And it was a great day for Kim because on closing day was also her birthday. Oh, So wow. nice. talk about a good birthday present, right, with a new home. We had then had the Pittmans, who purchased a home up in Wake Forest. Fun little fact I just mentioned today about how I can do a backflip. Well, the Pittmans, Dana, she was actually one of my cheerleading coaches growing up at the, on the competitive squad. So wow. it's amazing that we kept in touch for that long and we were able to help their family. They'll actually be also selling their home. I believe they closed this week, this upcoming okay. week on selling, but they bought a home. We then have the stands. The Stans ended up buying in Nightdale. They are the sweetest family. He's a preacher. They have four kids and they relocated to the area. We then have Rachel, who purchased a home in Raleigh, and Rachel is a personal friend of one of our buyer specialists. We also have Taylor in Nightdale, and then we have Alicia. Alicia is a seller, so Alicia is actually a repeat client of ours. So we helped Alicia with buying her townhome in Raleigh over in Glenwood North, and she ended up turning it around, selling it, made a pretty penny. Nice. Uh, That neighborhood's a great neighborhood to sell in, and yeah, just, you know, super excited client. So we had a total of seven. Seven closings this week. We always like to honor the number of closings with a particular sound each week. And in honor of summer vacations that have been happening, Angie, and maybe the last gasp of summer vacations over the next couple of weeks, we're going to take it to the beach as we celebrate today with seven squawks of the seagulls. Ah, it's enjoyable to uh, be able to celebrate. The moving on next phase of life for a lot of people. Six different folks this past week buying homes, one seller, seven total closings this past week for Angie Cole and A. Cole Realty. If you would like to get in touch with Angie Cole and be one of those success stories, you can call or text her at any time to start your home buying or selling process. 919-538-6477 is the number. That's 919-538-6477. Well, as we mentioned, we have a lot to get to on today's program, and we're going to kick it off with a great question here from Jake in Holly Springs as we dig into the mailbag. Angie, Jake says, my wife and I are smokers, and we've had smoked in our house a lot over the past couple of years. Is that going to ding our resale value? What tips and experience do you have selling homes with that kind of problem? Jake, unfortunately, it it will ding your resale value. You know, it's one of those things that we have some buyers just, you know, who will not even step foot in a home that Mm -hmm. has been smoked in. It's kind of personal preference. And unfortunately, it can be tough to really get that out of a home 100%. There's things such as an ozone machine you can put into a home to try to circulate the air. But most of the time, in order to get rid of that smell, you have to wipe down everything with vinegar, with bleach. Most of the time, you need to pull up anything that can absorb the smell, you know, like carpet, 
just mm-hmm. completely, you know, tear it up. After washing down the walls, like with the vinegar solution, you then need to kilt over before you repaint. It can be really tough to get rid of the cigarette smoke in a home. Also, it's in the ductwork of the AC. Mm. So you need a thorough cleaning of all your ductwork, which an HVAC company would do that for you. But it's almost near to impossible to 100% get that smell out of a home. Right. And for someone who's not a smoker, that can be a negative. So you know, it's tough for us to really give you an idea of, all right, this is how much it will depreciate your home because you smoked in it. But it's more of, like I mentioned, personal preference. You know, some, you know, buyers might be okay with it. Other ones completely will say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if it's a strong odor, just like that goes for any odors. Any right? odors. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But um, we tend to find that, you know, cigarette smoke can be a lot tougher versus maybe right. animal smells to get out of a home. And, and they just really, they've absorbed into the walls, into the flooring, into your HVAC system. Right. And now so there's the, the third hand smoke. Is that, the, that's the new thing? Oh, uh, really? You, yeah. So, I didn't uh, know about this. It's so secondhand smoke is when you obviously you're next to the person. You're smoking. next to the person smoking. Thirdhand smoke is a, a legitimate thing now, <gasps> where in a lot of doctors' offices now, uh-huh. will say if you smell like smoke, we have the right to ask you to leave and, and change and come back, because really? they say that the all of that that soaks into the clothing, into the walls, and all that kind of thing. Yeah. It stays in there, and the I guess it's the carcinogens, carcinogens or whatever yeah. still emit even off of clothing and that kind of thing, and so it still carries like an increased risk of wow. cancer. It's not as bad as secondhand smoke, yeah. from what I understand, but it's still present. So in this case, when it's in a home, is I mean, it sounds right. like it would be a case of thirdhand smoking where it can be dangerous, yeah. you know. So teach your own, you know, yeah. that's up to you. But you know, Jake, if you are thinking about selling your home and you want to get an idea of what your home would be worth, like I said, it's tough to put a number on your home taking into account the smoking, okay? Mm-hmm. But just remember our showings might not be as strong as what we would have for a home that's not been smoked in. But we can definitely give you an idea based on comparables what your home would sell for in today's market. So if you are thinking about selling and you want to get an idea of what your home would be worth, you can text the word listing to the phone number 555-888. So once again, from your smartphone, just text the word listing to the phone number 555-888. And from there, make sure that you click the link that we send to you and input your address so we can send you back a number on your home. So if you're thinking about selling, go ahead and text the word listing to the phone number 555 555- Eight eight eight. If you're a current smoker and thinking about selling in the near future, the takeaway here is smoke outside, right? Smoke outside. <laughs> always do. And and I or even stop tell smoking. you Yeah, that too. <laughs> don't smoke in your garage either. Okay. I've mm-hmm. I've seen that where they're like, Well, we don't smoke in our home, but it's in the garage and to people I mean, that's still part of your sure. home. So really move away from the home right. when you're smoking. Yeah, it's uh, that's pretty wise advice if you're thinking about resale value in the future. Again, if you want to find out what your home could be worth, smoke or not, uh, pick up the phone and text the number 555-888. And in the message, you're just going to put the word listing, L-I-S-T-I-N-G. Just send the word listing to 555-888, and we'll get you that estimated value of your home if you were to sell in today's climate. All you have to do is text the word listing to 555-888. Stay with us. Lots to get to on today's edition of the Savvy Realtor with Angie Cole. Each week, we unpack the mortgage process of buying and selling. This is the Mortgage Moment with Chris Murray of Homeside Financial. Chris, how do you advise clients who are about to buy a home but then have another big purchase pop up? Like maybe they have a car breakdown, they need to go get out a new one. Do you run into situations like that often? Yes, actually just ran into that last week. A uh, <laughs> customer's car broke down and she desperately had to have a new one. Um, I don't encourage it. However, before you make that purchase, make sure you speak to your lender about it. We may have qualified her with a car payment, and if she's just replacing that car payment, then it's okay. If she's adding an additional debt and not replacing an additional debt, then it may become problematic. So definitely check with your lender before you make any big purchases. In a situation like that where maybe they are, it's adding the, the debt and it's going to affect the home purchase, is it 
just go get a loaner for a few weeks until you get past the home buying process kind of solution? Borrow grandma's car. Borrow absolutely. grandma's car. That's good. That's good. I would imagine you probably have more of a, an issue with people who don't even think about that process. They go out and, you know, they want to get a new TV for the new home and Best Buy says, you know, you can get 10% off with our credit card and you open up a new credit card and now you're in trouble from, you know, changing the dynamics of your loan. Yeah, it happens more often than not. When I'm speaking to clients, I encourage them not to do anything to their credit at all without having a conversation with me first. So I definitely would advise before you make any big purchases, buy appliances for your new house, buy a new car, buy furniture, et cetera. Please make sure you talk to your lender first. So if you're ready to take those next steps and speak with Chris with Homeside Financial to get pre-qualified, you can either call or text at 919 538 Six four seven seven. From there, Chris will follow back up with you to start that qualification process. So once again, you can text or call at 919-538-6477 to start the pre-qualification process. Let's shine a little light on some of the Triangle's best areas right here on the Neighborhood Spotlight. Savvy Realtor rolling on. Thanks so much for joining us. Walter Storholt here alongside Angie Cole, the owner and broker in charge of A. Cole Realty in the Triangle, serving you not only in Raleigh but the surrounding communities as well. If you live or are looking to live within about an hour of Raleigh, Angie and her team kind of serve you in that sphere. If you live outside that area and you're listening to the show and you're looking to buy a little bit further out, Fayetteville or you know something off in that distance, Angie can refer you to a great realtor who would be able to help you in your home buying search or if you're looking to sell in those areas as well. Uh, you can get in touch with Angie at any point in time by calling or texting 919-538-6477. Again, that's a 919 area code and the number is 538 538- 6477. Call or text Angie at that number. Well, you heard the sounder a moment ago that said it's time for the Neighborhood Spotlight. This is where we'll feature a great neighborhood somewhere in the Triangle. Tell you a little bit about the nook and cranny that is this week's featured spot. So, Angie, where are we heading this week? So, we are headed over to Holly Springs, and our Neighborhood Spotlight is called Hensley. H-E-N-S-L-E-Y. So Hensley is a neighborhood in Holly Springs. This neighborhood is built by H.H. Hunt. With this neighborhood, it's great because it falls into the top-rated schools. Hmm. Just an amazing location in Holly Springs. So as far as direction-wise, off of Highway 55, you then will go to Holly Springs, New Hill Road. You'll go west about one mile on New Hill Road, and then the neighborhood will be right there on the right. It's actually adjacent to the brand new Oak View Elementary School. Oh, okay. okay. So as far as price point, starts in the low 300s, goes up into the upper 300s. Also, the model home is being sold, and that was listed way above that at 441 because, okay. of course, they max that home out with the upgrades. They are on the closeout of the neighborhood. There's only three active homes left, but we probably will start to see some resales popping up here and there. They started construction in 2017. They're just now finishing up. It's a total of 37 townhomes. Hmm. But the neat thing about this neighborhood is the townhomes live like single family homes. When you look at them, they look like a single family detached home. They only have just a tiny connection between the homes. And I believe it's between the storage uh, rooms. Don't hold me to that. But there's no like main walls that are adjacent or butting up to the neighboring home. Uh So you got a little extra buffer. Yeah, oh, most definitely. But the great thing about a townhome neighborhood is you have the maintenance free, you know, lifestyle where they take care of the grounds, much of the outside of the home too. But once again, you know, these live like a single family home. Good size homes. They range anywhere from about 3,000 square feet up to 3,681 square feet. They also, you know, with this builder, H.H. Hunt, who is the builder, it is like top of the line features, you know, within the home. Of course, your granite, your hardwoods, but just beautiful homes. And if you would like to get more information on the neighborhood at Hensley, maybe you're thinking about buying there. Maybe you're thinking about selling. Maybe you've been there for about two years now and you are interested in the value and understanding of where you could list your home in today's market, we would definitely love to meet with you and give you an idea. But a great way to get started to understand, you know, kind of the price of your home is you can text the word listing to the phone number 555 
888-888. And whether you're, you're in this neighborhood, Hensley, or just anywhere in the triangle and surrounding areas, you can definitely use our texting feature to get an idea of what you could list your home for in today's market. So to do that, just text the word listing to the phone number 555 555- 888 and make sure that you don't stop there from there we will send you back a text with a link make sure you click the link and input your address and from there we'll give you an idea of what your home is worth just text the word listing l-i-s-t-i-n-g to the number 555-888 you'll get a text back from us to click on and uh, you just go and visit that link put in your home's info you'll have that estimated home value if you were to sell in today's market what you could possibly sell your home for very useful tool if you're thinking just about starting that selling process great way to begin all you have to do is is just like you're going to text a friend, put the word listing into the message and send it to the number 555-888. It's that easy. You'll get a text back from us and you just click on the link inside that text and follow the instructions. All can happen in about 30 or 40 seconds and you can find out your possible home's value if you were to sell in today's market. Just text the word listing to 555-888. That's this week's Neighborhood Spotlight, Hensley in Holly Springs. More coming up on the Savvy Realtor with Angie Cole. Stay tuned. Well, Packers, Blue Devils, and Tar Heel fans can all agree on at least one thing. A. Cole Realty is the team to choose here in the Triangle when it comes to buying or selling a house. So let's lace up the shoes, rip the bat, and toss the pigskin back to Angie Cole on the Savvy Realtor. Well, before we wrap up the program for the week, it's time for one last mailbag question, and we'll let Jill in Raleigh take us out for the week. Walter Storholt here alongside Angie Cole. She's the expert in real estate that we turn to here on the program each week to guide us through the ins and outs when it comes to buying and selling in the triangle. If you want to reach out to Angie, you can do that by calling or texting 919-538-6477. That's 919 538 6477. All right, this question from Jill is a good one. How do you market a home to appeal across multiple types of people and generations? I would imagine marketing to baby boomers is a lot different than millennials. Jill, that, that's a great question. And, you know, as a real estate agent, I need to make sure that in my mind, I'm not thinking, okay, it's this type of home and only this buyer will buy it. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has different opinions and ideas of a style or a location that will work best for them and their needs. And so we want to make sure that we're hitting all different types of people. So we want to make sure no matter where the home's located, the layout, whatever it might be, you know, we're marketing to everyone, Mm -hmm. baby boomers, millennials, next gen. So it's all about marketing and all about, you know, hitting different types of avenues of marketing. So for example, our team, of course, your home's going to be listed in the MLS database. We're on all third-party websites like Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com. We do signage. Maybe, you know, there's that person out there that prefers to drive around. We do open houses. You know, maybe that individual likes to pop into open houses, and that's how they go about their home search. You know, we do a mass uh, variety of different types of social media marketing. So where we're posting on our business page, our personal page, on different group pages. For example, we have one property which could be used as a horse property. It already has a fencing. It has, you know, the horse barn there as well. So, of course, we share that onto Facebook groups for, you know, equestrians Hmm. or also, you know, people looking to buy a horse. You know, so we make sure that we're really pinpointing those people that we feel might be good potential buyers for the home that we're selling. Also, the radio show. We're hitting how many average listeners? I mean, uh, on a weekend? A whole bunch. Um, Thousands (laughs) and thousands. thousands. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about the different types of marketing to make sure we're hitting every, you know, type of buyer that could potentially be interested in your home. Yeah, it's pretty cool to uh, be able to kind of put all of those different feelers out, all those different directions that you guys are able to tap into. And the thing is, you're meeting the buyer where they are, right? Whether it's millennials on social media or baby boomers who like to drive around. I'm making broad stereotypes here. Right. Like to drive around and see the signage. Yeah. The idea is your the home could be a fit for all kinds of people. Exactly. Therefore, we want to market that way too. Yeah, I mean, the only time I would say you know it's a specific buyer where in this point we're not stereotyping or steering in any way, but would be like an active adult neighborhood where right. they actually have a limit 
requirement and a requirement on age. You know, right. you must be 55 plus. Some are open to like 50 and 52. Mm-hmm. But then there, you know, we definitely are focusing on one type of buyer. But also, you know what? It could be one of the kids who tells their parents about this neighborhood. Right. So once again, just hitting all different avenues of marketing is super important when it comes to selling a home. Yep, that's hugely important. And so, Jill, it sounds like you might be thinking of selling your home. And we always feel like most sellers, they like to start off with first understanding, you know, what their home would be worth in today's market. I think that's always most important for it to make sense whether or not they want to sell. So we can offer you a service where sight unseen, we can give you an idea of the value of your home in today's market. And so to get that, you can text the word listing to the phone number 555-888, and then we will respond back to you with a link. Make sure you do click the link and input your address in order for us to send you an idea of what your home would sell for in today's market. If you wanna take the next step, we would love to do an in-person listing presentation. At that time, of course, we would do a walkthrough. We could give you a more in-depth idea of, you know, what your home would be worth in today's market. And then we would, of course, go through our marketing plan, share with you those comparable and the net proceeds sheet and just answer any questions that you have. But once again, to get started, if you're just kind of toying around with selling, you can use our texting feature from your smartphone and you can text the word listing to the phone number 555 888 to get an idea of what your home is worth. Great option if you are beginning that home selling process. Find out your home's potential value by texting the word listing to the number 555-888. L-I-S-T-I-N-G. Text that to the number 555-888 and then just click on the link that we text back to you and that'll get you started on your home selling process. All you have to do is text the word listing to 555-888 and click the link. Angie, thanks so much for joining us this week. We'll look forward to talking to you again next time around. Sounds great. Thank you so much. That's Angie Cole of A. Cole Realty, your savvy realtor here on the program. If you want to reach out to Angie directly after today's show, you can call or text her at 919-538-6477. That's 919-538-6477. 77, and that'll put you directly in touch with her at any point in time. Thanks so much for joining us. For Angie, I'm Walter. We'll talk to you next time on the Savvy Realtor. Tour.